let me ask you something. Do you know what it's like to experience love, to give love, and to be loved? What is that like to you? What does love mean to you? Does it come with a, an agenda? Are strings attached to love? Or is it an inner feeling, an inner consciousness that's hard to describe, but you know how you care or feel about somebody? Isn't our Creator magnificent? And how we feel, how we think, how we can be conscious even about thinking, the kind of love that you have for a child, is it the same that you have for your spouse, your mate, your parents, your siblings, your best friend? When you think about love, it's almost like an abstract thought because it varies from one person to another. I thank my Creator that I'm able to experience such an emotion, such a feeling. Love. Something that we need more of, don't we? So, I highly encourage you, if you've been postponing, putting off, telling someone how you feel about them, don't hesitate any longer. You can text, but preferably a call or personal visit is even better. To let someone know how you truly feel about them. If you have to go to them in hate and anger, I encourage you, postpone that. It's not necessary. Because anger will only fuel anger. But even if someone comes at you in an angry state, you show love. Because love can diffuse that situation. May not be instantly, but as someone think about it over time, it works as magic. Love. So, don't wait. Because we've all heard that tomorrow is not promise. Tomorrow isn't promise. But think about this. Neither is your next breath. So, don't put off thinking of tomorrow what you can do right now. Because your next breath is not promised. Start showing more love. Love one another as our Creator loves us. Love is the most powerful weapon that we have. Love. Love. Love.